Hi friends, it's Anne here, and today's video is my fifth update for my Project Pan for 2021. So I am doing this in the Team Project Pan style. I have like a full range of products and I'm rolling in products as I finish things. And then every quarter I'm kind of like taking a refresh, like is this really where I wanna go with some of these things or do I wanna replace some stuff? So um, I don't have a specific set number of products. I'm just kind of, trying to keep it a little bit more edited because last year I did 20 in 2020 and it was too many products. So I, I needed to keep this a little bit smaller. I think I have around 11 or 12 products in the project at this point. So speaking of, did I say projects or products? Oh my God, I keep switching those words. I hope I said products. Let's start with the first product. The first product is this little mini Benefit Boing brightening concealer. This came in a kit with I think five, well, four others. So five in total uh, Benefit concealers. This one is still like, I'm pretty sure even in the photos, it's gonna look not great, like in terms of difference. I feel like I need to use very little of this product. Again, kind of like the other corrector I had. If I go a little, a little overboard with this, it starts getting clumpy and patchy. I've also noticed too, like depending on what kind of eye cream I use, um, this also again won't apply very smoothly so i just have to be careful with this under my eyes anyway last month this was 13.25 grams it's now 13.16 grams so that's a difference of 0.09 grams the next product in my project is finished yay so this is the dr jarrett bb uh, beauty balm it's the black label detox one uh, which the label has mostly worn off this was actually in a project pan in 2018 and i realized there was a lot of product in this i don't know if there's more than i need to look it up online because there's nothing on here i don't know if there's more than standard foundations are around 30 mils i should look up how much is actually in this I didn't really like it when I previously was using this. I have now kind of come around to liking this um, a lot more the more that I used it, the more that I got used to it. Also, again, I've talked about this. When my skin is acting up and crazy and textured and flaky and doing weird stuff, nothing looks good on it. This looks terrible on it. Um, when my skin is a little bit more normal, this does look a lot better. Most months I was using about four grams. I definitely finished this up like before the end of the month. I finished it up mid month, which kind of relates to the number. So last month this was 57.36 grams. It's now, or finished at 54.51. So that's a difference of 2.85 grams. Again, most months I was using about four point something grams. In total since January, I've used 21.71 grams of this and it's finished. So that's pretty good because I have a lot of foundation. So I need to, <laughs> finish a few up. I will be replacing this with another item, but we'll talk about the new items at the end. The next item is the Becca Hydra Mist uh, setting, Set and Refresh Powder. It's almost done. I was able to draw a new line on the bottom. You can see there, I mean, it's a little off. Hopefully the picture will show a little bit better um, balance, but yeah, we're right at the bottom there. I definitely am confident and even if not confident, I'm going to <laughs> finish this up in, in June. I just want to be finished with this and move on to something else. So I, I did kind of make a slight mistake last month. So I'm continuing with that mistake. We'll just go forward with that. There was like a little plastic piece in this that held the powder down. That broke off, but I was weighing it with that in there because I started weighing it with that in there. I forgot to do that last month. So <laughs> last month, so there was a big difference in weight last month and I didn't didn't dawn on me that that is what I did until I looked at the weights while I was weighing these things now. So last month this was 59.04 grams. It's now 58.25 grams. That's a difference of 0.79 grams. So the next product I've actually hit my target on. My target was actually just to hit pan, not actually finish it because there's no way I was finishing this. This is a single shadow from Avon in the Mark line in the shade Mink. And hopefully you can see the lovely pan there. It's not huge, but it's there. There's actually a really big dip in this uh, now. And my goal was only to just hit pan on this and to just re-familiarize myself with it and use it a bit more. Um, I'm still on the fence of like, do I declutter this? I think, 
I think at the end of the year I am going to declutter this. So I did use this quite a bit this month to hit the pan. <laughs> um, I purposely, uh, I took this home with me like to my family home and just kind of did a single shadow type look with this for a number of days. And that's how I normally used to use these kind of shadows was just sort of like a one and done. The quality of this is not the best. Like I, I feel like my tastes have maybe changed and I feel like I have other shadows that I would pick over this as a one and done. I wanna kinda go through my collection and see what I have that's similar in tone. Um, it's very, very light. Um, I'll have this, I'll do a little swatch here on my hand. I'm trying to build up the swatch cause it's very, very light. <laughs> okay, good, that showed up. I didn't know how well it was gonna show up. It's kind of building it up. That's sort of it built up on the back of my hand. I normally would wear it maybe a little less. Let's blend that out a little. Yeah, so see how it kind of blended out the one side there a little. That's about how I would, how I would wear it as a one shadow look. Um, but actually, to be honest, I wasn't even just wearing it as a one shadow look. I was generally pairing it with either a slightly lighter shade for my sort of inner corner. I find actually this is a bit dark, like because I have deep set eyes, using this as a one and done is... I don't love it anymore. Um, again, I would have done that in the past, but I feel like with my eyes, maybe it's an age thing too, being pretty deep set, I feel like I need something a little bit brighter to lift it, lift the look a little bit. So I was pairing it with like some lighter colors. Um, and sometimes I would use like a little bit of a deeper color as an outer shade, kind of like how I have today with a, a deeper brown color. So last month, this was 55 or sorry, 5.56 grams. It finished, or I hit pan, and it's now 5.48 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.08 grams. In total, I used 0 0.25 grams to hit pan. Again, my goal for that was just to hit pan. I'm going to replace that with something else, which again, we will talk about at the end. So the Tarte Blush Bazaar. So this is the, this is the one that's keeping us all intrigued. Still no pan on anything. I feel like I'm doing better and like some of the shades are getting a little lower um some of the shades so the one that i was really focusing on was this one hopefully it focuses there we go hopefully you can see the pattern on this one is slowly starting to fade the only thing is i think it's maybe getting a bit of hard pan this one has like shimmer in it um kind of like a nars orgasm so i've been focusing on that i've been using this highlight quite a bit I don't know if it'll show on camera, but I feel like I'm starting to see, you can sort of see the edges of the ring, which you can kind of see in this one. And I feel like I can kind of see <clears throat> in this one as well. But yeah, I've been mostly focusing actually on this one. I have dipped into this one and, and this is one that I've been using as well. So hopefully the photos will show, show some progress. This is, this is the color that I need to really start using. Um, it's probably has the least, actually these two, they have the least amount of wear. So they're the ones that I need to focus. But again, I've been kind of, I don't wanna say saving, but I feel like they fit summertime a little bit more. So that's why I haven't really used them a whole lot. So last month, this was 127.56 grams. It's now 127.45 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.11 grams. We're really moving along with this product. This is, if you didn't know, <laughs> which most people know, but just if you didn't know, it's the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. This is like the regular original bronzer and we're getting definitely down there. I haven't done the photos yet, so I don't know side by side how much this has gone down in terms of visually, but I feel like it's definitely gone down. I feel like though that I'm at this stage now where it feels like there's not a lot of product left, but there's a lot of product left, you know, like you're looking at it thinking, this should be done in like a month. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> I know that. I predict that I'll finish this in September or October. Like I feel like it's gonna take me that long to get through this because the edge is the thicker, the thickest part too. Like the middle was pretty thin, even when I started the middle was pretty thin. So I feel like this is gonna take a while. So last month this was 59.41 grams. It's now 58.58 grams. So that's a difference of 0 0.83 grams. The next product is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Again, my goal was just sort of to hit pan on this. I am enjoying or liking how I've been using this, so I am using it sort of like as a finishing powder as well, and I think that's definitely helped me move this along a little bit more. I'm not intending to hit pan in the middle. I'm, I'm working the pan down here <laughs> at the bottom because I think I'll be able to hit the pan at the bottom. How I use that is the Brow Bone Highlight, and I really like this as a Brow Bone Highlight. It's a very... It's just enough sheen and very subtle that it's just, it gives you that like highlight look, but without like 
blinding frostiness. Does that make sense? So, and I do sometimes just wear this as like a highlight as well, um, particularly if I'm combining it with my Buxom highlighter in my Drop 10 Project Pan. So last month this was 51.24 grams. It's an even 51 grams. So it's a difference of 0.24 grams. My next item is the Milani lip liner, lip liner in 04 Natural. It's getting itty bitty. We're getting itty bitty, but I mean, I know this. I know this is gonna take a while. Like, I won't be surprised if I still have this in December, <laughs> to be honest, because I just know these take way longer. It just depends to how far down the core of like the product goes, as well as like, I do hit a point, like I don't know how people, sometimes people can get them down to like here. I usually finish somewhere around like a little bit higher because I just find like, what was I using my, with my eyeliner? I was using my teeth to try and like sharpen it. And it's like, that's too much. Don't do that. It's probably not good for my teeth either. <laughs> anyway, last update, this was 2.4 four grams. It's now 2.31 grams. It's a difference of 0 0.09 grams. So the Urban Decay Brow Blade, this has moved along really fast. Um, I'll show it in the pictures close up, but I mean, let's just, let's do it right here really quickly. I mean, even if you don't see the pictures, you're going to see if it focuses. There's so little product. Like, can you even see? Like, that's going to be done in like maybe a week, if that. I have used the other side a couple of times, but I've talked about that. And if you watched my inventory videos, you, you can see how much redder the pen part is compared to, compared to all my other products, as well as even compared to the pencil side. So I don't really like the pen on this very much. And I will admit in filming that, I broke off a little, a teeny bit when I was trying to do the swatch because it got a little aggressive. So we lost a little bit of product <laughs> um, trying to do a swatch, but yeah, this will be obviously done by the next update and I'll have to figure out what product I'm going to replace it with. I'm toying with putting in the uh, brow pomade, the ABH brow pomade, which was in my project last year, just to try and finish it up because it's kind of like the product that you kind of want to finish. But I also have a couple, I have at least two other pencils that I could try finishing. So I don't know, I might start with a pencil and then maybe put that pomade in another project. Anyway, Last update, this was 0 0.98 grams. It's now 0 0.97 grams. It's a difference of 0 0.01 grams, which has been consistent with every other month. It's been 0 0.01 grams each month. So this is trending down. I do not have the same problem with this as I did with the Winky Lux uh, brow pencil. The next product in my project is the Smashbox Centering Citrus Primer Water. So this is the primer water, but it's the photo finish primer water, but it's in Centering Citrus. That's clear. <laughs> Um, and last month I was kind of disappointed in my pro progress, but this month I definitely have a lot better progress. I'm much more comfortable with that. Like thinking about how much I have left, like when I saw the previous progress, I'm like, I'm not going to finish this by the end of the year. And I'm like, what? but I've been picking up my usage on this. I use it at the, it's usually the very last stage of my skincare. Um, and then sometimes during the day I might spritz this on like at lunchtime or just when I feel like it, sometimes again, I've been spritzing it on after I finish my makeup as like a setting spray. Um, so yeah, I've been able to like pick up my use on this a little bit more. So I'm happy with that. I hope I can continue with that. Don't love this product. It's not the product in and of itself. I wish I could try, maybe when I finish this, I'll buy a regular uh, primer water because I think I'm okay with the product. I just, I'm not a fan of the centering citrus plastic smell like it's it's very fake it's very plasticky and last month so let's talk about weights last month last month this was 123.98 grams it's now 110.59 grams that's a difference of 13.39 grams and the sort of last product that i've talked about so far the next two are going to be new is the touch and soul no problem prime essence so this i again kind of use this and then when I, I go to start my makeup i will then they start my face makeup. I usually do my eyes first. And then when I start my fa face makeup, I put this uh, primer on all over my face. It's fine. Like it's kind of a useless step. I feel like it's not really adding anything, but I'm just using it to use it up. I wouldn't go out and purchase this. I do like the regular primer from these guys. I think I definitely would purchase that again. I, I have like a full size right now. So let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. But yeah, I like this one. I'm like, eh, whatever. I'm just finishing it to finish it. It doesn't hurt. It's not causing like my skin to break out. It's not like 
making my makeup look bad so I'm just using it to use it. So last month this was 34.01 grams. It's now 29.54 grams. So that's a difference of 4.47 grams. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, like I feel like that's a lot, like 4.47 grams, but I also feel like this is very watery. There's a lot of product in, in this. Like if I had to guess, like I feel like I'm up here somewhere in this product. Like I feel like I have a lot left to go. So this could last a while, <laughs> last a while. Okay, so to replace the BB cream uh, foundation, I wanted to put in another foundation. I really haven't in Hod. There's other foundations I kind of wanted to put in over this one that I've picked, but I've picked this one for a very specific reason. Uh, the one I've picked is the Tarte Clay Stick. It's in the shade Light Beige, and I've purposely picked this because it's a stick foundation, and I'm worried that it's gonna go bad before I can at least get good use out of it. You can see I haven't used it a whole lot. Like, I will be honest, I have maybe used this less than a dozen times. Like, I'd probably say maybe 10 times. This one's pretty creamy though, so I feel like I will go through this fairly quickly. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I do have another stick foundation. It's the ABH one. It's a little drier, like they're just, it was just drier from the get-go. And I was gonna put that one in because it is a little bit drier and I was like, it's summertime, I might prefer that better. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want the quality of this one to go and then I really don't like it. <laughs> but I do like it now. Like, I mean, I haven't used it. I haven't used this, this in a while, so maybe it won't like it. But from what I remember, I do like it. And I do like the tone of this one better. This one's a bit more of a neutral pink tone, whereas the ABH one that I have, I'm not sure the shade name I have, it leans a bit more neutral yellow and I'm definitely more cool tone. So yeah, so there were other foundations that I, I would prefer to have picked, but I, I feel like... I can't neglect this one. Like I kind of have to pick this one because I don't want to have this expire on me without much usage, much usage. Having said that, I probably won't, we'll see how things go, but I'm not intending to power through this the way I sort of, I really did focus on that BB cream because I really did want it finished. I think when I do like my shot, my stash or however I'm going to pick my makeup going forward, I haven't really figured that out yet. I might continue with my shot, my stash. Um, I think maybe I've just hit a little bit of a rut with it. Um, I will bring in other foundations to use and will use them a bit more. Like I really did focus on that BB cream um, and, and really barely use the other foundations. Whereas this, I'll like, I'll use it to use it. Um, but I won't, I won't be upset if I don't finish this, even though like I would like to finish it. And I think it's totally doable. I think I can finish this by the end, like in what, seven, eight months, seven months, I can finish this, but we'll see how it goes. So the starting weight of this is 40.35 grams. And then to replace the Avon, mark eyeshadow i've picked another eyeshadow to try and hit pan on and it is an avon mark eyeshadow <laughs> so this one is in the shade fairy dust and it's like a pink a light pink shade um still also again very neutral a kind of one and done when i swatched these previously this one feels drier than the mink one like when i thought about keeping one or the other i was like oh the mink one definitely feels like it's better quality but i feel like this shade is a bit, at least from a singles perspective, might work better. So hopefully you can see, like, again, it's really light. I, I built that up too. So I may not like this at all. I may find like, it's just kind of a waste of time. Um, or it might be like, yeah, that actually does kind of work for me as a single. The challenge with this is even though it's a nice single and I kind of like the idea of having a one and done or just taking one single with me, I don't have any packaging and I can just take this with me. So I have to put it in, I've got it in this right now. Um, I've got a bunch of other shades in here that I was just playing with over the past few weeks. Didn't really put them in my shop, my stash, but hopefully you can see there. That is the mink one and that is the fairy dust one. So we're gonna move forward with this. Now I'm super curious in terms of hitting pan on this one. So if you recall, I hit pan on the mink one and it weighed 5.48 grams. The, this one right now, the fairy dust weighs 5.44 grams. So it actually weighs less than this one. But like I said, this one was creamier. Like they're definitely different um, in terms of texture. So just interesting that the fairy dust is starting at a higher, at a lower weight than the other one ended at. I, would, I was like, Honestly, the reason why that stood out at me is because when I weighed the mink one, I'm like, okay, I'll now have like a mental 
goal for the fairy dust, like have an approximate idea of what the weight should be when I hit pan. Nope, not now, because <laughs> it's already lower. <laughs> so unless I F that up, I might weigh that one more time before I post this video just to make sure that I've got the weight correct on that. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Again, I'm, I'm really contemplating just decluttering these at the end of the year. I have a lot of eyeshadows. I have a lot of eyeshadows that are better quality, but sometimes like, sometimes I want something that's just like really light and not a lot of pigment and I don't have to think about it. I just get a big fluffy brush and I just like Bleh, and you know do my mascara and go. I mean that's how I used to do my makeup a lot when I was younger. It was just like one shadow, bit of eyeliner and mascara and away you go. And now it's like you know three, four or five different eyeshadows and it gets, it gets a little out of control some days. So I don't know. That's the two shades right there though. Like they're nice. They're just nothing. They're definitely not unique either. Like when I think about what I have in my collection Again, I have other stuff that I probably would pick over these, so we'll get the use out of them. We'll see, you know, some point down in the future. Definitely by the end of this year, I want to make a decision. Do I keep them or do I get rid of them? Um, I'm, I'm leaning towards getting rid of them. Sometimes we have to let go. As you can tell, it's really hard for me <laughs> to declutter items. So yeah, so I think I have, let me just double check my totals here. I have 11 items in. I've took one item out, that was that Wink Winky Lux uh, brow pencil, and then I finished or hit goal on five products. That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm giving myself a thumbs up on that one. <laughs> anyway, if you like the video, feel free to give it a little thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my tiny little channel here in Toronto, Canada. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you sometime soon. Bye.